Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Melody Land and I am finally getting around to playing one of the coolest new games. Um, this is called Strangeland and it's reminiscent to me of the old style point and click games. I compared it um, in a Steam review. I re compared it to uh, Space Quest. It just seems to have that same style. It's a very cool game, um, so I would highly recommend it if you want to know where to get it. It is available on Steam for a nominal price. It's not very expensive, and it's a lot of fun, so I thought I would record it. I'll probably die a few hundred times because that's the way the game is designed. Um, it seems to me anyway, it's probably just me, but let's get to it. This is Strangeland. Okay, because I have played it before, it's asking me if I'm sure, and yes I am. Let's get into it. I'm waking up, and I have no idea where I am. Just in a straight jacket. I don't want to tell you a joke. I don't want to tell you anything at all. Did you know the problem with me? I never could keep my big mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> So we're in what looks like a carnival fun house, going into a fun house. We have different things we can look at. Looks like they really want me to go in. It says not all attractions are suitable to all ages. Visitors are encouraged to exercise judgment. Pretty vague as warnings go. <laughs> It's an ad for Nepenthe. It reads, Quaff, oh quaff, this fine Nepenthe. Win a bottle today at the shooting gallery. Okay. Well, we might as well go in. See what we're in for. <clears throat> Wait! Wait! Goodbye, my love. She's gone. Oh dear, there she goes. Not gone, Querent. Nearly dead. Again and again she comes to this well, to weep and leap at the sound of the shriek. Which of you will save the other? I love the voice acting in this game. So that was our fortune Hello? teller. Hello? I guess I need to put in a quarter. And now he doesn't want to speak to us. Okay, we have a well. It's a long way down, but I could give it a shot. I don't think so. Let's answer the phone instead. Listen. Understand is this is all your fault. You miss all the obvious signs. You let everything slip through your fingers. And you're no good at fixing things. That's why she's dead. That's why you're here. Right. Anyway, I'll call again later. But if you need help, and you will need help, please hang up and press zero to dial your operator. Wait! Well, okay, that was encouraging. You sounded just like me. Hmm. Okay, we can go that way, we can go that way, or we can go this way. But I think we're going to go... Let's go this way. Uh, 
A huge furnace with 83 painted on it. That is my name, 83. Let's talk to 83. What are you? I am the fire that burns the impure. What's that anvil for? Like the bear that licks its cub into shape with a tongue of fire, I forge from ore upon the anvil whatever thing I wish. There was a golden-haired woman who threw herself down a well. The bellows gasped on the day she was made. Yeah. But who was she? A flawed thing that fire could not save. Can you make something for me? I can make anything. Bring me a work order and lay your medal upon the anvil. I really need you to make me something. You can bring me an order, or you can burn. Okay, I think we'll go Goodbye. look for an order. You have said so before. <laughs> we sure don't want to burn, so let's see what's going on over here. Ooh, okay, you can just barely see him, a mean-looking dog, a booth, a sign. And we're not getting past the mean-looking dog with the glowing eyes. Obviously evil. Okay, let's go look at the telescope. What's making that sound? That's what's killing her. I have to destroy it. Okay, now we have a nemesis. We have a goal in mind. We need to destroy the shadow. We also need to get past that angry dog. Don't know why he's so mad, but he is. Let's go over here. We have a circus tent. The hole's just big enough to reach through. Can we get that wrap? Got it. Ah, sure is heavier than it looked. <clears throat> okay, let's go see what's over here. Who? Who's there? Did you scare off those nice doves? Come closer. <laughs> Let me hear you. Okay, I don't think they're nice doves. His eyes... they're gone. But my ears are just fine, stranger. Who are you? I'm afraid I don't rightly know. I'm just an old fool who can hardly remember what he's read, much less who he is. I do recall a book that said each is his own judge. That might just have to do. Can't you just tell me who you are? Seldom do those who are silent make mistakes. So I think I'd best hold my tongue. Okay. There was a golden-haired woman who threw herself down a well. <sighs> no sickness is worse to one who is wise than to lack the longed-for love. But who was she? Who are we to rob each other of our forgetfulness? After all, it's written somewhere that the learned man whose lore is deep is seldom happy at heart. He sounds like a philosopher, doesn't he? <laughs> Ask him a question and he gives you riddles. Did you mention doves? Yes. I feed them as they flutter by. I find it soothes my mind. Are they here? Do you mean that crow? Raven. No, I mean the doves. It was the raven who told me of them. Are they here? Oh, let's just go along sure with them. Sure they're here. Ah, then let me find a crust of bread. Of scattered papers. There's nothing on them but nonsense. Myths. 
and... A scrap of meat. I'd rather think of it as bread for the doves. Okay, we can go along with that. We could use that meat. Let's go back to talking to him. So can you at has... least tell me your name? Well, I remember the name Fimble Famby. But whether it's mine, or yours, or both of ours, I can't quite say. Okay. What are you writing? The same things I've written a thousand times before. After all, an act can lose meaning if you do it often enough. Where are we? I wish I could tell you. The man who stands at a strange threshold should be cautious before he crosses it. I read that once, I think. He does like to quote, doesn't he? Can you write me a work order? No. I only write what I've written before. The words stuck in my mind, and the lost words the raven finds. What happened to your eyes? I fed them to a raven. He said it would bring me wisdom. Interesting. Did it work? Are you wiser? Oh, yes, indeed. I learned that to be blind is better than to burn on a pyre, and that it is easier to be rid of your eyes than the vision that offended you. Goodbye. Hmm. Joy to him who has understood. Delight to those who have listened. Okay. Well, let's check out Death this Death and stones will make me groan but words will never move me. Right. Pick either direction, but definitely go left, I guess. <laughs> they make it rather obvious, don't they? Step right up! Step right up! Win yourself a bottle of Nepenthe! The bro that puts a bullet I imagine I need to use the gun. It's locked. There's no latch, and the edges are too tight for me to pull it off with just my fingers. I don't have anything in my inventory just yet. So... I do have this. There's my inventory. I have a piece of meat and I have a rat. Neither is going to help me here, I don't think. Get hit, get your one hit. And one hit's all it takes to bring blessed sleep. True, one or the other. Okay. These roots are supporting an unnatural bridge. It's too far off. This is one of the craziest carnivals I think I've seen. Let's see, can we talk to him yet? I need to put in a quarter. Yep, we need to go find us a quarter. Let's see what's over here. Something's affecting me. Welcome to the mysteries of the deep. <clears throat> Home of the luminous dream maid, the vitriolic sea star, and the oleaginous black swan. I don't think we want to touch that gate. Not ready to go in there yet. Uh-oh. Please, don't! There she goes again. 
what was it we dialed? 431? I need to deposit a coin first. Uh-huh. So, we need coins. Okay. Can we go back the way we came? Apparently not. We have just pens? steam. I need to put something on it first. I need to find something to put on it. And there's nothing in the hole, is there? Nope. Let's see if he's got anything available. Cytotoxic. Cytotoxic. I can't use this as a work order. Okay, we have a noose. A noose? I wonder how it got there. You were the one who tied it there. Tried hanging yourself. Did it make you any wiser? I'm not sure. I don't remember. That's why I write things down, you know. So as not to remember. Don't you mean to forget? Yes, I do mean to forget. Okay. Neoplasm. It's not much of a tree for climbing. Let's see the bird bath. It's an empty bird bath. It had water once, but the deeper he drinks, the dimmer grows the mind of many a man. I it seems to be ignoring me. Specialist. Don't think he's gonna be any help. Just yet, anyway. Have a raven uh, up here. Hello? Sticks and stones will make me groan. Yeah, yeah, I've heard it before. Well, we can't talk to the fortune teller. I need to put in a quarter. And we need a scrap of something to put on the anvil. And we have that vicious dog who's got nice doggy something in his mouth. Any closer and it'll attack me. Shall we it's try to get on a piece meat? of metal? giving him a piece of meat. We dropped it. Grab that. Yay! Oh. But he's still in our way. But at least now we have our spike. We need a work order. before we can do anything. But I am going to use the spike. You can get your inventory by saying, hitting I. On the Sliding the box. spike into the hole might give me enough leverage to pop it open. There we go. Okay, because we're gonna fix this machine. In the yellow is safe. And not in the yellow is not safe. Better leave them here. Let me get a closer look. So we've got to keep them in the yellow. Huh. 
They seem to move together. to get them all in the yellow on the slow side like that. Guess I've changed some settings. Okay. Maybe now it'll be slow enough that we can hit these. through the well, but she's not really dead. And our phone's ringing. Now you're wondering, am I losing my mind? No, you're finding it. You've hidden a hard grain of truth beneath smooth layers of lies. A masquerade of metaphors. Here's a metaphor for you. Your mind is a matryoshka. It's just you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and we're here to open you up. A matryoshka. I'm going to have to look that word up. Okay, we don't have any meat left in our inventory. I wonder, can I get to the inventory with tab? No. It's I or going to the top and hitting inventory. We're going to go get another piece of meat. Or bread, as he likes to call it. I keep hearing a terrible shriek. What is it? The dark thing. One thing I've learned about these games is you ask everything. What is the dark thing? A shadow blocked away up there, festering. Some boils are better left unlanced. How can I reach the dark thing? A word leads to a word, a deed to a deed. For silver, he speaks, is wisdom worth gold. I read that once, or maybe I wrote it. I suppose it doesn't much matter one way or the other okay um so he does kind of give clues they're just very obscure why is that bird bath empty once it was filled with fresh well water as cool and clear as a sound mind but doves and ravens would much rather bathe in dust maybe they can't abide their reflections either hmm. okay we want bread so could i have some more meat i mean Bread for the doves. <laughs> All right, there's our piece of meat. Into the inventory, and we are going to combine the nepenthe with the meat. A knockout marinade. And we're going to go give that meat to the dog. Peonies. Peonies. Oh, there she goes again. Stop! It's either a memory, or I'm in a dream. 
It's hard to tell which. At least at this point. Okay, let's bring up our meat. Tainted meat. For the dog. His eyes looked happy. Aww. He didn't fall asleep, but he went away. Let's go check out the booth. <laughs> Some carny left himself a to-do list taped to the wall in here. Too many winners. Turn up the skull speed. Shut down MOTD. Starfish keeps spitting acid on guests. Find something for Ozzy to chew on. Okay. Let's look at the sign. Beware of dog. And now Thanks, guys. Tells us. <laughs> Let's see what's up here. Hey, stranger. Shh. We're supposed to be men. Okay, they are called the Marquettes, I guess. Who are you? Well, we're sure not Valkyries. Don't let that sign confuse you. And we're not fates, neither. Just because there's three of us. That's more Murmur's thing. We're not weird sisters. Even if we are strange. After all, you're stranger still. <laughs> Isn't that usually the case? Okay, you've said who you're not, but who are you? Just think of us as fragments. Figments! Pigments! Ugh. What? We're here to add color, aren't we? <laughs> Do you have names? The Three Masketeers! Ugh. <laughs> yes. Look, I'm sure you mean well. But everybody knows not to give their name to a stranger. Okay. What's with the masks? Everyone wears them. You've got one too! What? We all have a role to play. And in this story, there's only room for one woman. That's why we've gotta be guys. Okay. What's under the mask? Good question. Nothing. Legends say it's death to gaze upon a masker, unmasked. But I bet you don't pay attention to foolish gossip like that. Yeah, there's nothing to fear under here. Get it? Ugh. <laughs> okay, maybe they know who what I am. What do you mean, I'm wearing a mask? Oh, come on, stranger. You don't really think you escaped from some sanitarium, sporting a retro straight jacket and movie star stubble. We all dress our best to fit what we think the world wants. And in a strange land, it suits a man to be estranged. Okay. Let's find out about this place. Where am I? Well, stranger, I have a feeling you're not in Kansas anymore. Ugh. Come on, enough with the one-liners. Fine, you're at wit's end. Just cut the poor guy a break. All right then, we'll call it the breaking point. Don't let that old crab get you down. Remember what they say, home is where the heart is. Okay, Um, let's find out about Scribe. I met an old scribe under a tree. He's the worst. His handwriting's terrible. I wanted A3 to make me a gaggle of bagels. And you don't even want to guess what I wound up with when I showed him the note that old man wrote. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's talk about woman. There was a golden-haired woman who... The woman. There's only one of them in your story. We won't judge. Can you tell me anything about her? She's trying to save you. You need to find her. You're kind of a Hansel in distress. <laughs> Let's find out more about Where her. Where can I find her? Up. Up. And away. Okay, what's Murmur? What can you tell me about Murmur? He's got a head for prophecies. That's the fortune teller. Okay, let's find out about the dark thing. Do you know anything about the dark thing? I'm scared of the dark! While I wait for the dusk. You'll find out soon enough. 
Let's find out about this ride, Valkyrie. What's the deal with that Valkyrie ride? The ride of the Valkyrie, technically. A one-way ticket up. But where's the coaster car? Haven't you ever heard of calling a ride? <laughs> I can really just call the Valkyrie? Why, so can I, or so can any man. But will it come when you do call for it? You know you can't call her unless you have her number. And we can't help you there. Okay, we need a number. Goodbye. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. Gaze. Can I look under your mask? Can't say we didn't warn him. And that's it. My first death. The Raven Eye. Come right back here to the beginning. What happened? So there really was nothing under there, but we have some rocks we're gonna grab. <clears throat> Not this again. Here's one for you. Man sitting in his doctor's office. Doc says, and now here's the good news. Man says, Doc, you didn't even tell me the bad news. <laughs> Doc says, not this again. <laughs> oh, he thinks he's so hilarious. We're just going to go on in. And let's try out a rock because they said sticks and stones, right? On the bird, the raven. All right, all right, I'll talk. Good. So, uh, who or what are you? I just am because I think. I am because I think. Really? What are you? A raven, lunatic. All right. What is this place? Where are we? Baked in a pie, I guess. I don't think so. Do you just sit there, watching every time that woman kills herself? Aw, uh, don't get so bent out of shape. That little slip and fall didn't do her any harm. But she killed herself! Don't take it so literally, boss. Believe me, if she were dead, I'd be eating her eyes. As you might have noticed, death is different here. Puts a poor raven out of work, I'll tell you that. Okay, let's find out about crow. Are you sure you're not a crow? Look, I may be unkind, but I'm not murderous. And I croak rather than caw. Plus, I fly in a pair, not in a flock. Raven, definitely raven. So there's the difference between a raven and a crow. What can you tell me about the dark thing? I'm a raven, not a rat. Go ask somebody else. Okay. What did you mean? Death is different here. It means I'll not carry in comfort down there, feast on thee. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> the puns, the riddles, the philosophies, the enigmatic responses. I am going to try a stone on the crow. Let me Raven. line this shot up. Let's hit his head. My beak. Beak? Hmm. And let's go see what he wrote down. I don't need the target practice. Let's get rid of this. It says, Beak. This could be useful. Loud okay. Maybe we can scroll and get to what we need also. So we want the rock. Toenails. On the raven. My wing. Huh? Wing? I 
nothing. Oops, I want the nothing. It's illegible. Okay, so ring is G ring is, is the cruelest us. letter for a blind man to write. Condolence says. I wonder why that is. There's another rock. His head, his body, let's throw it at his legs. My claws! Did you say claws? And let's go pick up that requisition. Yes, these are work orders. Oh, uh, there we go with that again. Glass row. A beak and a claw. Okay, now we've got some work orders. Let's go to the man that can do something about those. Okay, we've got the spike. We're gonna put it on the anvil. And let's make a claw first. To make fitting claws will take more than that, Neopil. Okay, it's not a claw first. How about a beak? Now, step away. Behold the beak, fit for one who would carve and cut. Okay. Let's go back and talk to those three masked... The masked The ride of the Valkyrie is currently closed for want of worthy riders. In the future, the ride will return, should circumstances call for it. Okay. The mask cats. What? What did I see under there? You saw the reason why everyone wears masks. I promise we won't ask to look under yours. Goodbye. All right. So we all wear masks because otherwise we have nothing under there. We're going to go check out that electrified fence. Because I don't have any coins to deal with those guys. I already have her picture in my mind. So I know who she is. Over I there can't that reach we can't it. Can't reach. Oh, and our mind. Something is affecting our mind. I have a dagger. That's what that made this bike into a dagger. I have a rock. Do you think I can hit it with a rock? Didn't work. No. Do you think I can hit it with a dagger? I don't need the target practice. No. So I need to have a way to reach that lever. Didn't work. I need something longer. Let's ask the raven. Maybe he knows something. Well, let's just plain ask him. I have nothing to say to it. No. Nope. Should we try dialing zero? I knew you'd call. 
See, this isn't our first ride on the merry-go-round. And even though I can't hear you, I'll always know what you need. You need her. What's killing her? Can you stop it? Can you even face it? Hmm. Okay, you know, I'm gonna see if I can use that dagger on the tent. There's a thing in there. Where's the dagger? Maybe it's a no, way no, out. No, not on me. No. But not the right way. Move aside. All right, we're gonna use it on the hole. The knife's not sharp enough to cut through the canvas. So we need to sharpen our knife. Shall we see if he can do it? What I have done shall not be undone. Thus in metal do I make my mark on the world. Sharpen it for us. Let's go see what these guys have to say. An empty bottle, a rock, the Marquettes. I don't want to threaten them. No, that's not what I meant to do. I wanted them to ask. I don't have us. anything to talk to them about. Valkyrie. It must be the name of the ride, but I don't see any cars. We need to figure out how to call a car. I don't have anything to talk to them about. Yes, I do. I want to ask them about the car. It looks like this is where I would get on the tracks, but there's no train here and no way I can walk up them. I don't have anything to talk to them about. Okay, nothing to talk about, nothing to talk about, nothing to talk about. And there was nothing in the booth except the list. Let's go look at the telescope again. At least they don't charge me a quarter for that. Ah! I have to kill it. I do. Oh, it's affecting me again. I bet it's that dark thing affecting me. Let's go see what our wise man has to say. You know what? Let's go over here for a minute because I'm wondering if I can get a it's coin empty from now. them. No need to fuss with it anymore. The game seems to have turned off. All right, no coins over here. It doesn't look like. No need to fuss with it anymore. Let's talk to Fimble Thamby. Bread, please. Recurrence. And that's all we can get from him. An empty bird bath. I wonder what we can use in the bird bath. I could take uh, a bath. No need to cut that. No. I just picked it up. That's that? not going to work. It seems to be ignoring me. Kisses. Okay. Well, I think what we will do is go ahead and end this here. Easter. And come back and figure out what to do next. So, thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying it. 
um, anniversary. I am enjoying it anyway, even if you're not. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye now. Childhood.